But a seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Okay, guys, so we're finishing now. Finishing now, you know. I'm sorry I lied to you in the last one. I said I was going to be less than two minutes. I found out that I went up to 13 minutes. Oh, damn, I suck. Oh, well, I suck, guys. It is what it is. Now, here, Jesus, guys, is speaking about the sheep. The only type of sheep. Now, guys, there's something you need to realize in this one. You see, we said there are two types here on earth. It's just a wolf and a sheep. But there are three types of wolves and then one sheep, right? So, Jesus, you need to understand that he died for everyone. Wolves and sheep, you understand? But he actually was concentrating on the sheep because the sheep will actually obey dead and remain spiritually alive because by continuing in sin after knowing the truth to die spiritually so jesus was concentrating on the sheep because the sheep will actually stop sinning you know because uh john says that no one who continues in sin you know lives in him you understand you can't because the seed of god guys will not allow you to continue in sin if you have the seed of god meaning the sheep uh kind of seed so the sheep kind of seed after knowing the truth they obey him they obey him you know so i i don't usually have the habit of judging people i simply understand oh this one is a wolf this type of wolf oh a wolf a wolf okay that one is a sheep oh i understand okay that's great you know so it's things like that so i try to give you as much as i can of the knowledge so that you understand these things because people are hiding it to you they want to go to church and do whatever they want to do and call themselves the sheep of jesus unfortunately it ain't true and if there's one thing that is unfortunate this is one of them you understand so here we were speaking about the three types of wolves and one uh, uh, sheep if you've been uh, following up you will see something here there is a pathway there is a rock there is a thorn and then there is a what a sheep in other words they they must all make up of what of hundreds this must be a makeup of hundreds the first 25 pathway the second 25 rock the, the third 25 is the thorn and then the fourth 25 is what the sheep what does what does it tell you it tells you that it's only 25 percent of the population which are the sheep is it the 25 percent in every generation or just like uh uh all together i don't know Jesus did not tell us that, but you get that it's just something like that. Now, did Jesus give us the numbers? No, he didn't give us the numbers. As much as when you go to the book of Revelations, he does say that from the tribe of this, there's 12,000 type of uh, tribe of this, there's such and such thousand people. And then he says from the Gentiles, meaning now from people who are not from the physical israelites you know there is a number of people who will enter the kingdom of heaven so jesus does not give us the exact number because there is a, a part where he says that times times what times what times what you know so he knows the number but when you read here you realize that the there is three types of wolves and one type of sheep then that will tell you that sheep is just a remnant maybe it's just two percent in every generation we don't know we don't know all we know is that lord uh was one of the people who was a sheep and he was just you know a few you know and we know that noah same thing daddy uh got rid of that world you know and noah was saved you know we know guys that in every even uh i think it was elijah if i'm not mistaken we me and my dementia but i think it was elijah who ran and said god there's no one left now i'm the only one and daddy says mm -mm, i've kept a remnant you know you're not the only one so it's usually a few people who really belong to that man it's just a few people you need to know that so here that's what we are getting that the number you can see it's odd, but you won't see unless it's just a pathway because a pathway never gets saved. A pathway just never is interested, doesn't even give him a chance. But the rock and the thorns, they will, it's just that they will be interested in money or in problems, you understand. But these ones, guys, these ones are actually the, the sheep. 
So he says, but the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. So you need to understand it. Once you understand it, once you understand the kingdom, like Paul, like Peter, like James, like John, you know, you need to understand. He says, this is the one who produces a crop yielding a hundred, thirty, or sixty times what was sown. Why he's saying thirty, sixty, or hundred? It's because Jesus gives based on ability. He doesn't give me the same ability as you. He doesn't give you the same ability as that other person. So he checks what he wants from you, and then he gives you exactly what you need. You understand? So once you understand that much, then he will also then add, in fact, it will multiply, it will multiply because you will understand and then you will delve in and then guys, you'll go deeper and then guys, you will uh, make sure that you run with this kingdom of heaven because you understand it, you understand your seed. You see guys with the uh, sheep, the sheep don't have problem with obeying their father. Yes, the flesh is giving all of us problems so i have problems you also have problems you know so what happens is that with the wolves maybe they are facing um double problem because they have to fight their flesh which is in line with sin and deadness and also fight their the wolfism seed you know will a wolf be able to obey jesus i don't know Judas was in Jesus' inner cycle, you know. Pastors uh, opening churches, they've got the word, yet they're preaching their own things, you know. So I don't know if a wolf can be able to fight their wolfism. I don't know. I don't want to speak about things that I don't know. It's possible, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. You know, they are one of those things. I mean, guys, this is one of those things that you sit and you're like, Jesus, why did you create also wolves, you know? It's just one of those things, you know, I sit and I'm like, this is a question that you will have to answer me one day. <laughs> you know, one day, or one day is one day, you know, one day is one day. You will answer me one day, you know. You know, in, in my country, there is this uh, advertisement, you know, uh, it's actually about Lotto. And people uh, in this advertisement, they want Lotto and they can't get it so the slogan is one day is one day one day is one day so with me also it's like one day is one day you know jesus will have to tell me why were wolves created I, I i that's the part i really don't understand you know because paul is actually having this argument with himself i don't know he says that uh, Daddy says, Esau I hated, but Jacob I loved, you know. And he says, both the twins were still young, having done nothing good or bad. But it was based on the elect, not on the works. So the Israelites were like, so God is not, God is actually refusing us. Why? It is because of works, you know. And Paul is saying, do not find fault in him. You know, it's about the elect. So there are things you see it and you're like, mm, this one is deep. In fact, I didn't want to speak about this, but at the end of the day, guys, uh, I'll speak with, uh, you know, I'll speak about something that I feel needs to be spoken about. You understand? And this is one of them. And as a, um, a child of the kingdom of heaven, you need to understand these things. Thus, respect, you know, people's seed. You are, I don't know, guys, if you get what I mean. You know, so I needed to explain this thing as well. So it's one of the questions that I'm like, Jesus, one day is one day. One day is one day. That day will be my lot of day. You know, I might not love riches and running after money, but one day is one day, you know. So you will answer me and tell me why uh, the wolves, why why were they created? Yes, I understand they were created spiritually alive. Is it possible to fight wolfism? I don't know. Maybe it is possible, you know, because if it's not possible and Jesus allows them to be born, ooh, guys, you know, we need to, it's things like that. You have to sit down and you really, 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 really have to ask, you know, because guys, there are many people here on earth who just don't care about Jesus. In fact, I sit and I'm like, Am I serving a different God? What is happening? You know, in fact, I remember back in the days, I was like, am I serving a different person? Why are people who go to church sleeping around? They say God is going to forgive them. God doesn't punish. You know, they love money. They love uh, riches. 
you know, they care about their careers instead of his kingdom. And I'm like, am I serving a different God? What is happening? You know, so things, you know, things guys happen. And in my mind, I was like, something doesn't add up. If one and one gives me 11, there's something wrong. It should give me two, you know. So it's things like that. You see it and you're like, okay, now I understand. Guys, this thing about a seed is very, very serious. Guys, it's very, very, very serious, you know. So because of that, some people fall away and they get discouraged and they're like, mm -mm, this thing can't be. People are just hypocrites and everything. Don't, don't, don't be dismayed. You understand? Go on, move on. You might be a sheep. If you are a sheep, you will move on and you will obey him. Even though people are loving money and planning their own lives here, they are busy with this life you know doing whatever they want to do and you see it and you're like what the heck is happening do not be dismayed you understand if you are a sheep do not be dismayed jesus is there you understand he's going to take care of you he understands the pain he says that in the world you will have tribulation you will have problems but take heart i've overcome the world you understand why he knew that it's gonna be hard especially for the sheep because the sheep are just remnant few people even paul he says i myself wish i was cursed you know but he says i am an elect you understand so he sits and he looks at his siblings he looks at his cousins he looks at his people of israel you know you know and he's like ah i love them i wish they were also elect but there ain't nothing you can do about it you understand so there are things like that that you just sit and you're like there's nothing i can do about this you know but respect them it's hard let's say you're a parent and you give birth to this child who doesn't obey god it's hard because you know them i gave birth to a, a wolf maybe a, a tony a Tony Wolf, meaning the one who loves riches and cares about this life, or maybe you gave birth to a rocky wolf, you know, one who concentrates on problems, you know, and is unable to concentrate, you know, or maybe you gave birth to a pathway, one who doesn't even consider, you know, that man upstairs, who doesn't consider Jesus, the man he came from, you understand? So it's things like that, you sit and you cry sometimes for people, ah, guys, sometimes I cry for people, believe me when I tell you, there are times where, because guys, I'm cold, at the end of the day, I'm cold, and I must be liable to Jesus, but sometimes I sit and I cry because I love my family members, guys, I love those people, you know, you know, these are the people that I love most, you know, other than my daddy and my Lord, you know, who I love, you know, those are my first love, you know, they are my number one, my number two, my number five, right down to number hundred. Then my family comes next, you know, I love them very much. They come after hundreds because my daddy and Jesus, they come, they are my number one, my number two, my number five, my number ten, my number hundred. Then after number hundred comes my family, you know. So I love them very much, but realizing that... Mm, yeah it is what it is painful painful but you just have to swallow it it's a hard pill to swallow but it's a pill that you must swallow you understand so we speak about these things and we educate about these things in fact i love the kingdom of heaven guys because you get to guys you get a lot of information a lot of information jesus said if you take my teachings you will get the truth and the truth will set you free and you become free you become free you know what i mean so jesus says that they produce a, a 30 60 or 100 times what was sown you understand so meaning that according to what he has given you you know so he gives you this much knowledge and you will multiply that knowledge you understand and once you understand guys the secret is in understanding you need to understand the kingdom of heaven guys and sometimes i sit and i'm like damn nini, you over explain but guys i have to you know because i know there are sheep of god who must get this message and the disciples they come and say rabbi why do you speak to me in parables and jesus say I, I speak to them in parables because the people of the world they don't hear or understand you understand so it's it's useless but with you you will you understand so it's things like that so i want you guys to understand this understand this you better guys understand this you need to understand this you know what i mean now uh i'm done guys i'm finished i'm done you know so respect people seed no matter who you know, you respect them. You, it might be painful. You know, whatever. You don't judge. It's not your job to judge. It's not your place to judge. You still need to concentrate on understanding the kingdom of heaven. So you don't have time to judge. People who judge are people who are lost themselves. Because it's like you should be actually be entertained by Jesus' test. 
you know, and his knowledge and his teachings. You don't, you shouldn't be entertained by judgment. You understand? So don't judge, don't laugh. You know, I can't laugh at people because they are falling away left, right, and center. I sit and I'm like, yeah, it's difficult because the flesh is there. It's giving you problems. And if you are a wolf, any type of wolf, you know, you would also find a double problem. You understand? So it's things like that, guys. So, guys, I hope you really, really understood this uh, series. Thank you. Until next.